Uh, good morning, everyone. And um, it's it's our um, great honor that our work graph skeleton near yeah, one nodes are sufficient to represent billion scale graph um, has been selected uh, as the oral presentation at the web conference 2024. Um, my name is Lin Feng Cao and I'm currently a PhD student at the Ohio State University. And this is a joint work done during my internship at Zhejiang University, supervised by Yang Yang Professor. Um, first of all, I will briefly introduce the background of our work. Um, currently, the actually the graph uh, structure data is you is ubiquitous in the real world application, like for example the social science, the finance, and the biology, and also the communication. And currently, the web graph mining tasks, especially the node classification, has emerged as one of the most crucial tasks uh, for various applications, including the web search, the social media, the recommendations, and also anomaly detection, and so on. Um, but uh, based on the um, previous uh, studies, we found that uh, mo in many real-world applications, the graph data can be very massive. Uh, uh, for example, the, the data set of the MAG um, 240M, it contains about um, over 200 million nodes. Um, but we also found that um, the, um, the, the nodes that actually require to be analyzed is very sparse. Uh, for example, um, and, th and this data set, and there are only maybe um, over about um, um, one, um, one million nodes required to be uh, classified. And here is the, the archive paper. And so we found that um, the graph is massive, but the nodes required to be analyzed will be very, will be highly sparse. Um, and on the other hand, the mainstream paradigm for this task and um, for the node classification task is uh, mainly just maybe de de and deploy the graph models on on the original whole graphs, and then we just uh, and train this model and doing and uh, utilize this model to do some inference um, for the downstream tasks. But um, but as we uh, mentioned above in the in the previous slide that and um, Many um, graphs in the real applications can be very smart, can be very sparse, but also very massive. So uh, we argue that um, maybe and um, and we just uh, deploy the a uh, very complicated graph models on this very uh, massive data just for a very small number of nodes. Classification is not very economical. And on the other hand, maybe a proper method to uh, uh, maybe find a uh, find a uh, maybe finding a proper me um, compression method and to compress the um, the nodes that we do not care uh, and then deploy the models and the graph models on this kind of compressed data for the model training and inference would be uh, a shortcut and uh, to handle um, this problem. So uh, actually, uh, in our problem, we term the uh, the nodes that and required to be classified as the target node while uh, other nodes as the background nodes. Um, however, the background nodes can um, actually place um, diverse roles in the target nodes classification intuitively, and, but we know little about that. And there is uh, a trade-off between the compression rate and also the information integrity. So that's the main challenges of our work. And so based, um, based on this, we thus raised two questions. The first is, are the background nodes necessary for the target node classification? And the second is, uh, what roles do they play in the target classification task? And to answer these two questions, we uh, did some uh, empirical analysis um, to try to uh, solve these two um, problems. Um, first of all, we um, we utilize uh, several data sets and manually set um, the target nodes and the background nodes based on the downstream tasks. Uh, for example, the archive paper, uh, we try to, uh, we, we, we try to, um, 
we just defined the paper since uh, 2018 as the target nodes, why the other why the other paper is as the background nodes. And for the um, D graph, uh, by the way, the D graph is a financial data set that. Um, um, the, the ages are connected uh, by the social social relationship between the users, and um, it uh, it uh, the, the feature is some um, long hi uh, history of the users, and we term the long user the long users as the target nodes, while others as the background nodes, and the background nodes ratio is about. Um, uh, 33 for the dgraph and about uh, 46 for the for the ACAF data set. And moreover, we just uh, defo deployed the uh, uh, three different uh, um, basic classic uh, graph models on this data set. It, uh, it, it includes different uh, 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 feature aggregation methods, including the uh, main aggregation, the weighted based aggregation, and also the summation aggregation. Um, the setup is very uh, intuitive. We just delete the background nodes by cutting the corresponding edges with the with the target nodes and try to find out uh, uh, what kind of edges will uh, in, in fact will influence the performance of the target node classification. Um, specifically, and there are um, there are four types of uh, edge cutting. And it includes the background node to background node edges, and the target to background node edges, and also the target to target edges. Uh, and the final uh, type is the random cut. And this is uh, the results of our empirical analysis. We found that, um, uh, first of all, we 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 can find that um, the the background node is highly redundant and even contains some noises because when I uh, when we uh, cut the most of the background nodes and the the performance um, maintains um, actually um, uh, present a very close um, performance compared to the original um, and specifically and uh, we can focus on the um, let me see. The, the orange bar we just cut the okay we just cut the, the edges um, between the uh, background nodes and we found that the background nodes uh, are highly um, redundant and even contain some uh, noises but when, when we cut um, the edges between um, the background nodes and the target nodes and we found that the performance uh, and uh, the performance uh, dropped uh, significantly and moreover, when we cut the edges between the target node and a cut ta target node, we also found, and we also find the performance drops dramatically. And so this indicates that the background nodes are important, um, and also the connections between the target nodes are very essential. Oh, sorry. Furthermore, we, and uh, furthermore, we just um, cut the uh, the edges that the background node connects with. Uh, multiple tar uh, target nodes, and we found that also, and the the performance also uh, drops significantly as well. And um, when we okay, and so in this, so based on these uh, results, we conclude that that the 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 background nodes uh, may be um, uh, maybe plays the role that that enhance the connectivity between the target nodes. And but we also found that we when we cut all the background nodes near, near nearing the target nodes and the performance also drops significant, significantly. And we further uh, investigate the feature correlation and found that uh, the background nodes neighboring to the target nodes always present a higher uh, feature correlation with the target node. So we just summarize that the target nodes um, is redundant but essential, especially for for the nodes that enhance the connectivities between the target nodes as the bridging node and also the and also present the high feature correlation with the target node as the affiliation nodes so based on these insights we propose our uh, graph skeleton it first fetches the essential background nodes under the guidance of the structure connectivity and also the feature correlation just as we discovered uh, previously and then we develop three different condensation strategies to reduce the inf information redundancy of the background nodes. 
um, the generated skeleton graph is and could be highly information and friendly for storage and graph model deployment. And the first, uh, we first proposed the uh, canonization strategy alpha. It it aims to uh, com it aims to condense the redundancy information of the background node within the structure, and um, that is we we. We com we merge the nodes with a similar with a similar um, local uh, graph structure into together, and their um, features are merged are merged via some aggregation methods. And secondly, we propose the um, canonization beta strategy. It and um, um, we further relax the um, canonization uh, uh, bar that we um, discard the. Distance information, so so that um, all the nodes uh, connecting with um, the same multiple uh, target node sets can be uh, merged together, and and their features uh, has been and can will also be aggregated together as well. And third, and the graph condens the condensation and the, the the condensation gamma strategy, we further uh, merge the affiliation nodes and uh, onto the target nodes. And similarly, we also aggregate the node features uh, onto the onto the target node. Um, and then we conduct the downstream task class classification task based on the compressed based on the compressed graphs for multiple data sets. And the results show that the graph skeleton achieves a uh, uh, better perform compression performance against other baselines also very with a very close results with the original graphs and um, okay and um, specifically it presents a very strong ability to scaling up the GNs on a very large scale graphs uh, for example on the Mac and uh, 240 million and uh, for 40 million data sets and um, our method yields less than uh, 1.5% 1. 1. Uh, decline with only near 1% nodes of the original graph. Okay, uh, thank you very much.